Welcome to another Encounters episode. Today we take a look at an unusual Bigfoot case involving a missing child. Many times we hear stories about Bigfoot possibly abducting adults and children. We even have some stories that claim that Bigfoot eats small children. Then we have cases where people go missing in national parks and sometimes it is thought that Bigfoot is behind some of these cases. One of the most famous potential Bigfoot abduction cases that happen in a national park was the Dennis Martin case. There is also many stories from Native American culture that talks about Sasquatch abducting and sometimes eating people. But this report has a much different outcome. According to the story, this took place in Wrangell, Alaska. It comes from a fisherman, and is stated to have been passed down for many years. So the exact date is just unknown. Here is how the story goes. It seems a family had went camping and they had a three-year-old little girl. Somehow the little girl had wandered away from camp and away from her mother. She had been missing almost all day. Of course, as you can imagine, the mother and other campers were very upset and concerned about the missing girl. At about dusk there comes what was described as a hairy giant walking towards the encampment carrying the missing child in its arms. This massive giant was also described as being a male creature. The hair-covered giant walks over and places the little girl down and turns and walks back into the forest. The little girl is completely unharmed and in perfect condition. One odd thing had happened to the child while she was away. Someone or something had taught her to play stickball and that was something she did not know how to do before she went missing. Now, this hairy giant is of course a Bigfoot by today's terms. This story makes me wonder if maybe the Bigfoot had taken the child and then returned her later. It could have just been that the Bigfoot had a curiosity about the small child. In any case, this story is totally unverifiable but still something to store in the archives. Maybe we can use it and compare it to future or even past reports. When it comes to cases of potential abductions done by Bigfoot, I think it could depend a lot on the particular Bigfoot. After many years of reading reports, talking to witnesses and doing field research, it seems Bigfoot personalities can vary a lot. Much like people, some appear to be more aggressive than others. Some may be more prone to abductions or other undesirable behavior. Maybe in this case, the Bigfoot just had that protective behavior because the child was so young. We find this protective behavior in humans sometimes and it is not limited to just our family or offspring. Some people have a desire to protect others, or animals or trees. So, it would not be a stretch to think some Bigfoot might display this type of behavior. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell. Find more reports in our sightings map at thecryptocrew.com. If you have had a sighting or encounter, then please contact us via our website. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.